What's taking so long for appointments, for service, for responses? Anyone who's tried to go to the DMV during the pandemic knows it's anything but business as usual. Our viewers have told us things like, I feel the wait time for appointments is ridiculous and I keep encountering an error message and even I have given up at this point. While some have experienced no issues, many have had major issues and delays. So what are the reasons? Our Brendan King has tonight's Problem Solvers investigation. My question is, what are you doing to address the issues? Todd Samino Johnson spent much of his winter waiting. I didn't know it was going to take this long to register a car. Waiting for anyone to answer him at the Virginia DMV. And there are just no appointments available for the next couple of months. He says after purchasing a new car in February, he mailed in his registration forms after all of the earliest in-person appointments were booked up. It's a service that cannot be completed online. I'll just send it in. Uh, overnight it because they on their website they do have overnight and I thought okay this will this will speed up things obviously after waiting for a month without a response he then calls DMV customer service finally after I want to say five six maybe eight times calling I finally got through to someone it took her 20 minutes to, to come back on the line to tell me that I was in the queue but she couldn't tell me when it was going to get processed. Todd is not alone. Hundreds of people have been telling their DMV stories to the CBS 6 problem solvers. While some have been good, most have been bad. The biggest struggles, signing up for an appointment or just getting someone on the phone. So we took those concerns to the top. Actually, I guess I'm now the longest serving DMV commissioner in the history of Virginia. Rick Holcomb has served as DMV commissioner since 1994 taking some time off to work in the private sector before returning to the agency. He admits for some, the wait for appointments is long. To come into the DMV, you'd get your, your, your ticket and you'd wait sometimes for hours, particularly in the urban areas, uh, to be called. Uh, now uh, that wait uh, is, is you know, to get an appointment. The DMV sent us these pictures, what the average lobby looked like pre-lockdown and then now during the pandemic forcing employees to space customers at least six feet apart to comply with CDC guidelines. Yeah, I, I apologize that, uh, you know, people, uh, you know, that people might need to wait a little bit longer to get an appointment, but, you know, I will not apologize for the wonderful experience that they will have once they get into the DMV. But many tell us that getting in is nearly impossible. While a growing number of states in this part of the country allow walk-ins, Virginia's DMV centers are still appointment only. We had to re really revolutionize how do we effectively serve our customers in a safe, uh, in a safe manner. Um, and that's what we've accomplished. I look forward to when uh, the governor announces that the pandemic is in the rearview mirror and we can open more windows. Holcomb also argues part of the problem now, some 500,000 customers have not showed up for appointments that have been booked. You know, you go to the doctor's office and you get penalized if you don't show up. Well, are you aware that customers are able to make multiple appointments and that's why they're not showing up? Uh, even though we don't have the most sophisticated uh, appointment system, uh, we are upgrading it uh, and, and we'll have a, a lot more tools in the next uh, in ne next few weeks. Uh, we do manually go through, uh, and if we see the same name uh, more than once, uh, we cancel the appointments for them. Holcomb says the DMV is adding more services you can complete online and expanding access for more in-person appointments, like extending hours during the second Saturday of each month. But our state agencies have also been working around the clock. And Governor Ralph Northam said Tuesday they will announce lessening restrictions later this week. Uh, I'll make that announcement in a couple of days. It will become effective May the 15th and then June the 15th. After nearly two months, Todd now has his car tags. If I had known it was such a problem, um, I don't know what I could have done differently. But for many others, the waiting continues. All right, much more to come. Tonight at 11, we'll look into the customer service system here at the DMV. What Commissioner Holcomb has to say about long wait times just to get a human on the phone and what he's doing to fix that issue too. A follow-up to our Problem Solvers investigation tonight at 11. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News. All right, we look forward to that. Thank you, Brandon. If you're having issues with the DMV, you can reach out to the Problem Solvers for help.